We'll get those suckers! It took me a couple of days to track the Daltons down. They can't get away with this! And in that time, a whole posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand. We'll track them to the ends of the Earth. They seemed as determined as me to find those outlaws. But as we headed into those swamps, it was like I had my own private army. There was no way those boys were getting away this time. It was early fall, right? Beautiful time of year. At least you had the weather on your side. Not by my recollection. It was damp and foggy as hell. It was tough to stay on a true course, so we kept an eye out for landmarks. It was autumn. The maple trees were in full color, red as blood. The rains that year were torrential, so the whole area was flooded. The vigilantes had spread out wide, and pretty soon I couldn't see anybody. Some son of bitches ahead of me wanted to do me harm, so I had to face them alone. I wondered why my compatriots didn't come running when they heard the shots. So did you find the Daltons? Not yet, but I did have the questionable pleasure of meeting a few of their friends. The boys had established quite a reputation by that time, so they attracted all manner of riffraff to their cause. Point B and I was under serious attack. Am I 
reinforcements was nowhere to be seen. Kill that goddamn bounty hunter! But luckily, a barn materialized as if right before my eyes. I scrambled up top to get a better view. But just ended up falling inside. So, how did you get out? The barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. But that goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Steve? So I just started walking, and pretty soon I... Steve? Steve? Uh, huh? Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm listening. Indians surrounded me from all sides. Indians? Oh, there were Indians. No. I just wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. Now, where was I? You were following the dolphins through a swamp? That's right. See, Steve? Dwight's paying attention. No, oh, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. So, where was I? The Daltons. Right. See, there's a reason so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. Being a brother is a very sacred thing. It's a bond like no other. Bounty hunter! Stop that, so bitch! <laughs> So did you ever find the damn Daltons? Not yet, but I did find a few of their cousins. You Kansans breed like rabbits. More Smiths or Heimhoffers or who knows what. But hell, what's more important than family? I bet Ben knows what I'm talking about.
out there somewhere, standing together against anyone who would threaten them. And that's when I saw it. A goddamn steamboat. A steamboat? In a swamp? Yeah, Steve, but this wasn't much more than a wreck, really. But how'd a damn steamboat end up in the swamps? Guess it floated off during the flood of 89. Now, was it a stern wheeler or, or a side wheeler? What, what? Does that really make a difference, Steve? It was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. It was then that a fusillade of bullets it? come raining down from on high. Those vigilantes who accompanied me weren't anywhere to be found. But among those men that were shooting at me, I thought I saw some familiar faces. Like you don't give up too easy. That's the kind of man I am, Ben. I set out to do something, I do it. Surrender just ain't in my nature. Plus, I'm stubborn as hell. Right about then, much to my relief, the vigilantes finally arrived. Their leader motioned at a cabin in the middle of the top deck, pointing me directly at the Daltons. I finally had them, after months of dogged pursuit. <laughs> but it turned out that they had me. Take him out! I'm sending you to hell! The Daltons had played me Don't like a fiddle. Apparently, the vigilantes were on their damn payroll. They didn't just want to shoot me. They wanted to burn me alive. But finding my way out of a burning labyrinth proved to be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean liner. Well, yeah, but I was in a fight. Did you hear about that ship that's gonna launch next year? Largest one in the world. Um, we're well, talking about the Titanic. If you ask me, it's too blessed to. I don't think it will oh. float. So anyway... Don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. They say that the Titanic <sighs> is unsinkable. Oh, God. But getting back to that steamboat, how'd you get <clears throat> off it, Mr. Grease? I took in a lot of smoke that day, so I admit my recollection might oh. be a bit hazy. But somehow, I managed to finally disembark. I was <clears throat> coughing up smoke and pretty damn pissed. I was done playing games with those boys. Oh. It was time to settle 
this once and for all. to come at me one at a time. They were in this together. Two brothers side by side determined to take me down. Confident that this time the odds were on their side. Sad end for those two. If they'd only known that Emmett was still alive despite his wounds. Paroled 14 years later, he moved to California and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that fateful day. And the tragic death of his two brothers. <laughs>